This is word problems with proportion. I'm going to give the students a problem that states that in a recipe that calls for nine teaspoons of pineapple juice mixed with, with six teaspoons of cranberry juice, it will taste like a drink that's made with 12 cups of pineapple and eight cups of cranberry. And then I'm going to ask them if they can show me if that's a true statement. So we're going to take nine teaspoons of pineapple juice to six teaspoons of cranberry juice. And we're trying to see if that's equal to 12 cups of pineapple juice and eight cups of cranberry juice. The students can cross multiply. So we have nine times eight, which is 72, and six times 12, which is also 72. So this is proportion to one another. We can use the same information to state that if we only have 10 cups of pineapple juice, how much cranberry juice will we need to get the same taste? So we're going to start with our ratio of nine to six, but this time we only have 10 cups of pineapple juice. So we have 10 cups of pineapple juice and we need to know how many cups of cranberry juice. So we're going to use X as our missing denominator. Again, the students will cross multiply. So we have six times 10, which is 60. And then we have nine times X or nine X. And we know that nine X has to also equal 60. So we can divide 60 by nine. We're gonna use six, so we have nine times six, that's 54. 60 minus 54 is six. So we have a remainder of six, or six ninths. And we can reduce that to two thirds. So now we know that our missing denominator x is equal to six and two thirds. And I may point out to the student that instead of just leaving the remainder, we were able to use it as a fraction.